Hi, this is Tony Henderson Mayers, and I want to thank you for tuning in to Moments of Inspiration, Encouragement, and Prayer. And I know you may be thinking, well, you talk about romantic relationships. Yes, but I also talk about family, friendship, business relationships, relationships with yourself, God, and your money. And this series, Moments of Inspiration and Prayer, um, helps us to get a better relationship with God. And so I hope you enjoyed this portion of my Tony Henderson Mayers page. And without further ado, here is moments of inspiration, encouragement, and prayer. Well, hello there, each and every one of you. This is Tony Henderson Mayers, television, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur, known as Wise Courtship all over social media. Because of my book with a three-step system, it will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. And this is moments of inspiration, encouragement, and prayer, where we come together to go over God's word and to, um, you know, encourage one another and to pray for each other's concern. So go ahead and share this broadcast. I'm going to take a few moments to do that because I didn't get a chance to to share this broadcast. Good to see you, Lakeisha. Good to see you on today. She's watching us via Facebook. And I also want to thank you uh, so much for sharing this broadcast. Thank you so much, Lakeisha, for doing that. I see that you have shared it. And so, guys, take a moment to uh, share this broadcast uh, with your friends on various groups and whatnot. I thank you so much for doing that. And so please pardon me, ma'ams and sirs, while I go ahead and share. Lakeisha is joining us via Facebook Live. Um, and also, guys, I want to thank those who are uh, joining us via Twitch, uh, via Periscope, and uh, Twitter, and um, also... Uh, YouTube, and uh, so many platforms, <laughs> my website. Thank you guys so much for joining us uh, in that way. I appreciate you on today. So let me go ahead and share to a couple more people, and we're going to get started. I don't know if you noticed today, I don't have a particular topic. I am praying live uh, for your concerns on today. And so um, you can put up your prayer request at the appropriate time. I'm going to let you know when to do that. Um, and make sure you do that, ma'am, and sirs. I would appreciate that so much uh, as we pray. Now, we pray all the time for your concerns. But um, this time, I'm just going to kind of dedicate a little bit more time uh, to doing that. And I'm still I'm still sharing. Give me just a few more moments to share. Um, what I noticed, too, was in the past, I would share ahead of time. And then it would give like a double type of a broadcast. I think Facebook is doing something different than what it did before. Okay, so with all of this waiting and sharing and stuff, I think most of you to share this broadcast and whatever else I didn't share, I will share after the broadcast. Um, but I want you now to turn uh, to the scripture that I'm going to be reading. And that's going to be from in there. You guys can hear me anyway. Um, I'm going to be reading 1 John 5, 13 through 15. 1 John 5, 13 through 15. I'm going to be reading that. And I'm going to be reading it from the New International Version. Okay, guys? I'm going to be reading it through the New International Version. And it reads uh, this way. Are you ready? Okay. So it's 1 John 5, 13 through 15. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to 
to will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know we have what we asked of him. And I wanted to read that before we prayed because I want you to have the confidence to know that when you are praying to God, good to see you, Tracy, that when you're praying to God, that he hears us and that he is um, that he is concerned about us. And so I wanted to read that to you before we uh, started praying on today. And I'm going to put praying up here so that when people come on, Don't greet them there. Extra hit. Go before I put my uh, glasses back on. I am I'm going to take your prayer request at that time. Okay. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we bless you. We honor you. God, we just, we just, we just um, lay before you, giving you all of the praise that you are due, all of the glory that is due your name. God, we come before you knowing that you hear us as the word has outlined. We know that you also ask us to cast our cares upon you because you care for us. Us. And so we come before you, God, with our concerns and with our celebrations and with our thankfulness. But first and most important, we come asking for forgiveness. Forgive us for the things that we have done wrong, that we have um, places we know we shouldn't have gone, the dreams that we allow to die, the people that we have not contacted, the things you told us to do that we refused to do, that we were too afraid to do. God, forgive us and help us to do what is right. You said if we confess our sins, you would be faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In other words, you will forgive us, God, and you will not remember it again. And God, we just come before you uh, asking for forgiveness. God, we thank you. Anybody thankful? We thank you for this brand new day. We thank you so that we're able to feel all of the seasons in life. God, we thank you that we're able to breathe in and out. We're able to see. We're able to touch, smell. God, we thank you, oh God, for our families, our children, our spouses. God, we are so grateful for our places of worship and um, uh, play, the, the means that you give us to make an income. God, we just thank you so much. We're so grateful. God, we just bless you on today. Anybody else thank? Well, go ahead and put it up through the chat box, what you're thankful for. God, we thank you for health and strength. We thank you, oh God, that we have uh, meals that you have provided for us, oh God. We thank you for those people in our lives that have been so supportive and so kind and so uplifting, oh God. We thank you, oh God, even in the hard times because we've learned so much. You've kept us, oh God. You directed us. You brought us through, God, and we are so, so grateful. God, now we lift um, we lift up to you. Go ahead and put your prayer requests up at this time. God, we lift up to you, first of all, the Wise Courtship family. We thank you, oh God, for them, for those who come to learn about relationships, some of them hurting, some of them needing direction, oh God, some of them needing encouragement. God, we thank you for the Wise Courtship family that have come all over the world and who have come through uh, reading the book, who have come through the conferences, the live streams, God, through radio, podcasts, television. God, we thank you for each and every one of them in their respective places, God. We pray that you bless them and mend their broken hearts. God, we pray for um we pray for Judy who is going through at this time oh God touch her you know what she stands in the need of God we also pray for um uh Sydney uh who was unable to speak but he was able to tell a few letters oh God and let me know that he wanted prayer and he thanked us in advance and so God be with him you know the situation you know what is preventing him from being able to even communicate uh, the way you intended for him to communicate, the way he was born to communicate. God, we pray that you touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, oh God. Whatever is a not in alignment, oh God, we pray that it be brought into alignment in the name of Jesus. God, we pray and we uh, touch and agree. And I celebrate with my sister Lakeisha, who is thankful for all connections and wellness, God. We thank God for that. We thank God that you have been moving, oh God, in her life. God, we, we touch and agree and celebrate with Tracy Miles, who is grateful and thankful for blessings. And we still pray for her family, oh God. We pray for the Smith family, who are still dealing with grief, uh, bereavement 
at this time, the Coleman family, as they are trying to um, move on without their mother, their sister, their aunt, oh God. God, we pray for those who are crying out to you in the middle of this pandemic. Some don't have food, some don't have clothes, some don't have their health in this pandemic. Uh, some know how they're going to make ends meet. But God, we pray for them. We um, touch and agree, oh God, that you will meet every need. And now, God, we pray for those who may have been too embarrassed to put their prayer requests up through the chat box. Possibly it was too private to share with anyone. We know whatever your answer is. Come on, y'all. Whatever God's answer is. Somebody say whatever it is. Whatever your answer is, whether it's yes, no, or wait a minute, it's going to be better than what we've ever expected. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. And let me just say, uh, for those who are watching us via Twitter, Twitch, Periscope, those who are watching on my Facebook, uh, some of these platforms, you can leave a comment and it will come through. Um, but then some platforms, your comments do not come through unless you're part of the original broadcast. Uh, and then also we have people who may be um, watching it later on YouTube or even in my podcast, you still can put your comments in where you can put your comments in and I will pray over your concerns. But also just know that if I never see it, God still sees it. God still sees it. He still knows about it and he still can answer prayer. I can't answer your prayer, but God can answer your prayer and he is here and he is everywhere. He's here and in Paris at the same time. He's here and he's in Africa. He's here. He's in Italy. He's all over the place. He's all over the world in the in the atmosphere and outside of the atmosphere in this universe and in the next. God is everywhere. Good to see you, Judy, on today. We just got finished praying for you. Um, also, um, yeah, yeah, Judy's um, visit us via Facebook. So good to see you. I want to give an encouraging word on today. Um, but, but before I do that, I want to tell you that moments of inspiration, encouragement, and prayer is going to be going through a transformation. It's going to be going through a good one. I have been doing this broadcast, I cannot believe, for nearly five years. I think it is just about five years. I don't have the exact date because I actually, when I came on to... Um, when I came on to Facebook Live, I did not intend to do all of this. I just came, you know, come off a few. I was just listening to God, just come on and do a few encouraging words, and then it started to snowball. And so now, after all these years of it just being me, we are going through a transformation. If you want to know what that transformation is, you can email me if you want to be part of that. I'm going to, this is a ticker, but it has the information on there. So <laughs> I didn't have time to change that ticker, okay? But that's almost right. Okay, so just email me at info at wisecourtship.com if you want to be part of this transformation. Email me and I will get some information out to you of what will be going on at the time. Okay, what will be going on? Oh, wow, we got a lot of people joining us with Periscope, so let me get my glasses on. Okay, so I can greet the people in Periscope who have joined us. But before I do, let me take this little ticker thing off. Okay. So let's see who just joined us from Periscope. It's so good to see you guys. That is my family. I've been on Periscope Scope for about seven years. And the last year, I have just been coming on with moments of inspiration, encouragement, and prayer. So let's see what the Periscope family has to say. Good to see you on today, Danny. Evangelist Danny, good to see you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I see all of your comments here. And I will put you greetings. Oh my gosh. Yes. Right. From Pakistan. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's so good to see that God is blessing all over the world. So greetings, Danny. I believe you were on my broadcast before and preaching, um, uh, preaching in Pakistan. Um, and I believe you were the one who, um, had put up a broadcast when I think about six people around Christmas time, not this Christmas, but I think it was the last one when, um, they receive Jesus Christ. So, um, yes, yes, we will. We will definitely be praying for that. We will do it. We definitely would be praying for that. Um, 
He is praying for, asking prayer family for his family and orphanage kids and um, for food and all of that and what they are going through uh, over there in Pakistan. And we stand with you, brother, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, be with him. You know the situation that's going on. Be with him and his children and the orphanage. Touch, and we touch and agree, oh God, that first of all, your word will go forth, that every need will be met. Hallelujah. Every need will be met over there in Pakistan, that they will not only have the spiritual food, but they will have the physical food, and every need that they have need will be met in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed. So listen, guys, I want to give you a word of encouragement on today. Danny, I hope that this will bless you too as well. Listen, we um we got a lot of things going on. In just about every country, I don't care where you're watching me from, there is a lot going on. And we have to stay faithful. And we have to remember that... Um, and, and I may speak on this because the Lord was putting this in my mind. That's why I only did a prayer broadcast. Because y'all know if God doesn't really give me anything to the forefront of my mind, I, I really, I'll just come on and pray. That's it. <laughs> I'll just come on and pray. But we have to, we have to, and, and Danny, I'm going to put some more, more of these comments up here too. Thank you so much. We have to um, remember that we, we, are, we can only do what God allows, first of all, and that sometimes we try so hard to make certain things happen because we believe, we believe that's the right thing to do. And we should be about the right thing to do. I hope you guys are hearing me. Some of you guys are ministering and you say, this is the right thing to do. And the way I'm doing it is the right thing to do. And, and me coming out here and doing this is the right thing to do. And some of you are feeding hungry children or ministering to hungry children or have the orphanage. You say, this is the right thing to do. You're trying to do things for your family. This is the right thing to do. You're trying to do what's right on your job or your place of work. And things just go wrong. Has, has that happened to anybody? Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me, has that happened to you? You tried to do the right thing and then just things just go wrong. <laughs> and you just try to do what's right. And you look at somebody else and you're like, Lord, they ain't trying to do nothing right. And everything seems to be going right with them. Yeah, the connection is, is kind of bad. I believe it's the platform um, that I'm on. I believe it's the platform. I don't think it's... Uh, anything else because we right in the same spot we always been but um you know that's that happens sometimes so we just gonna have to pray that's all we pray and say lord make a connection be right the platform that she's on um but anyway you try to do what's right and it seems like things still go wrong but you know we have our idea of what what is right and how things ought to work we have our idea about that but god has the big, better and bigger plan and we have to be able to settle in to what God has. You say, but Tony, but but I was going to do this and, and this ministry was going to do that. Or I was going to do this and, and you don't know I was trying to do this for my family and it was really great. Yes, it is really great. I agree with you. It's wonderful, but it may not be the direction God is going. Oh, gosh. Is anybody going to help me today? <laughs> It may not be, Lakeisha, the direction that God is going in, all right? And so we could be doing a lot of wonderful things, and we could have had a lot of wonderful plans, and now we're stuck in this pandemic, and things seem to be going awry, and we're not sure what God is saying. We're not sure what God is doing, but if you really know God, huh? if you really know him, then you know it's going to be for your good. Ah, yes. Yes. Can't nobody tell you anything about your loved one, your parent or your, your mother, your father, your grandparent, somebody who means so much to you because you know them. And so no matter how much somebody tries to bring gossip, no matter how much some people try to bring discouragement, no matter how many times somebody tries to say it's not going to work out, when you know God's character, when you know how good he is, when you know that what he says, he means. See, be in this world, man says a whole lot. They'll say they love you. I, I, I mean, they'll just, they'll say the, the whole marriage vows to you and still they'll turn their back on you. You'll have people say uh, they're going to be with you to the end. 
And then once one little thing happens, they're out. Oh my gosh. Some people are only with you because you're beautiful or because you're smart or maybe because you have, you know, you have a lot of money. You have a lot of prestige and man can be wishy-washy. And the, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Um, guess what, um, Judy? Sometimes they don't mean to be, you know, sometimes they really are in your corner, but they're limited. They would love to get on a plane and join you. They would love to be by your side when a loved one dies, but they're limited. Maybe they don't have the money. Maybe they don't have the means. Maybe they don't have the, the transportation. They just can't be there with you. They're limited. But God is not like that. He's not limited. He's unlimited. He's not wishy-washy. He's steady. He's not going to say one thing and do another. Whatever his word is, you can you can build your whole house on that. You can take it to the bank like they say. You, you can really depend on God. He's not like man. Oh, somebody put through the chat box. He's not like man. Oh, my gosh. Somebody needs to hear that today. And even you will fail you. Even you will fail you, but God won't fail you. You say, well, no, Miss Tony, I wanted this and he didn't do that. That doesn't mean he failed you. That's what you wanted. <laughs> and sometimes what you want is less than what God wants for you. You down here and God is up here. And you want this down here. Well, I feel pretty good out here with the hog. I'll just eat this slop and I'm good. Thank you, Lord. I'm real good with this. But he wants to give you a steak dinner. He wants to give you, for vegans, he wants to give you an array of roasted vegetables. <laughs> if you don't eat meat, he wants to give you what you want. And you, and you are still down here but God is up here and we have to rise oh my goodness y'all are y'all praying for this connection I hope y'all praying for this connection because evidently this was evidently this was a message that God, the devil didn't want to go through because we never have problems with connection okay so I need for y'all to be praying you need to hear this, okay? Because some of us are sitting in the house right now and said, my ministry was going well until this pandemic happened. My my life was going better until the pandemic happened. I, I My relationships was better until this pandemic happened. God knows exactly what's going on. And he may be saving you from something that you too, you too dumb to realize you about to head right into it. You ever seen a child don't even realize they about to put their finger in the socket and get shocked? They don't know that. They are oblivious to that. They're not old enough to realize that putting their finger in the socket is going to give them one heck of a zap, okay? <laughs> and that's the same way we are with God. We think we know better, but God knows better. And so listen, no matter what you're facing on today, no matter what you're facing, even in bereavement, even in bereavement, a lot of times we blame God for some things that is just life that happens in life. We will be born and we will die. And it doesn't feel good. I know because I've lost so many people in my life. So many, including my father, my loved ones, my relatives. I've lost so many people from the from a young age all the way up to the age I am now. I've lost so many people. And yet we blame God sometimes for those things. But these are things that happen sometimes from living in the world that we live in today. Because we live in this evil world, things like this will happen. Because of sin, we've got to endure some things. We've got to be around some things. But God will be with us through it all. And if we trust him, and if we stick with him, we're going to make it through. Somebody said, we're going to make it through. Put it through the chat box. We're going to make it through. Yes, indeed, Danny. Trust God. Trust God. Absolutely. Well, darlings, I've got to go, but I can be reached on the web at www. And I'm still frozen, so it's a good time to end because I'm still frozen. My gosh. Um, I can be reached on the web at www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere. It's Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers 
All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And in this day and age of alternative facts, things spinning way out of control, God is still in control. He still sits on his throne. And until Jesus comes back, we've got to learn to watch, fight, and pray. Take care. Well, hello there each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell. Click it for me so that you will know anytime I upload a new video.